Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I got the window back from the glazers. They put a new thermopane glass in it. The way they did that is pull these metal strips out. Then they pulled the pins in the corners that holds the tenon together. It's a mortise and tenon joint like this. So there was a pin through the, the tenon. They pulled those two pins out, separated the frame, slid the, the new glass in and put the frame back together again, glued it, caulked it, and pinned it. Now I have new glass in the frame and it's thermopane so it's just like it was before. It's not the uh, Anderson bottle glass anymore. Now it's two separate panes with a aluminum strip in between and a desiccant and argon in between them. It also has a, a UV limiting factor in the glass. So to set the glass back in place I need to move this temporary plywood panel which I put this green tape on just to make sure it was weather sealed and keep the bugs out. They just seal coated the road so it's extra noisy because they're driving over stones. It's always noisy with the cars driving by, but it's extra noisy now with the stones. Definitely put enough nails in there. One I didn't even see. Mud daubers. Get it everywhere. Now these little metal clips here, the window slides in this way with the clip in towards the center. Then they set in this groove. And that's what holds the window in place. There's a nail in each one of the little metal clips that locks it in. I'm going to pick up the window frame and slide it up into the opening. At least that's the plan. It's got to weigh all of 40 pounds. Okay, now I'm going to go inside, put nails in those metal clips, and hope there's no big wind that comes up in the meantime. The top comes up against the stop. So I'm going to put the nails in the top clips first. That way I can use the stop to keep the window from sliding out. There's one in. Most of the big worry is gone now. 
I was more concerned about having the window slip free and fall out on the porch again. The window is anchored. I'm not concerned about it coming out anymore. Now I just want to make sure I got it squared up. After getting the first nail in the clip, I went around and put a second nail in each one of the clips. To install the side trim, I tucked it up in behind the upper trim, which I hadn't removed, and then tapped on the bottom to force it up into place, kind of wedging it in by tapping the bottom sideways up against the frame of the, the window. I'll use this block as a pad so I can drive this trim in so it seats in the dado.
The edge of the trim that faces the window has this resilient seal in it and that compresses and forms an air seal around the window frame. goes in a lot easier than it came out but then I know how it came out now when I was putting it when I was taking it out originally it was uh, kind of a guesswork Actually, it was all guesswork because I had no plans, no drawings, no clue how this thing came out or went back in. Now to add insult to injury, thinking that they were making the world a better place, Anderson built these windows seal up using special trim. Well, it'd be nice if the special trim was available, but they would rather just sell you a whole new window. So that means I have to go in here and put the trim in and then rebuild it once it's in place. I could have spent a lot of time trying to make it perfect before I put it in there. The only way I would be able to do that is to one, make it new, which is tremendously hard. I lack the equipment to do it. Or I could fill it all in with wood putty and try and make it match exactly and then know full well and as soon as I do that, start tapping on it, I'm going to knock the wood putty loose. And they thought it was important that they would be able to engage this trim into all these dados. And when you're working with brand new stuff with no paint on it, it probably goes pretty easy. But when you're working with stuff that's old and has paint on it. I can't say that it's going to be easy. piece goes down in at an angle like this and seals the front edge of the window. Like so. Now, the last piece.
Okay, I've run out of my available supply of finish nails, but I have the window in place, solid, air and weather tight. I think I've got this job 99% done except for the trim finishing, which is going to involve paint and filling in these uh, chisel marks where I had to dig out the heads of the nails. In order to get this side of the trim out, I had to go in there and chisel out the head of the nails so I could get down to the nail and pull it with a pair of vice grips. Once I got this piece loose, then I could pull that bottom piece and then I could pull this piece and then I could take the window out. But that last, that first piece there was a real bear. Now if I had new trim, I would have cut that trim in half. Actually cut a chunk about five inches long out of the center of it pulled one side in, the other side in, and then I would have been able to go in behind this and pry this out. But because I didn't have any wood and didn't know what that looked like and didn't know if I was going to be able to replace it with anything, I had to go back and be very careful and, and do it the hard way. So that's it. Window is installed. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.